Hi guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Cooks by Carrie. If you're new here, I'm Carrie, and for today's Foodie Friday video, I'm sharing how to make these delicious pina colada popsicles that are perfect just in time for the start of summer. This recipe was super simple and only required a few ingredients. Without further ado, let's get into this video. Alrighty, so the ingredients you're going to use today are fresh pineapple. You're going to want to make sure it's ripe. Um, if you are including rum in these for people over 21, you can, you need white rum, just a little bit. You need um, a can of coconut cream, organic cane sugar, or um, just sugar. I don't think mine was organic. And yeah, that's it. Four ingredients. You should probably have maybe everything but the coconut cream at home. Alrighty, so basically for this recipe, I decided to make half of them without the alcohol so people like me and other people who are under 21 can eat them and then half of them with alcohol so that my parents and other people over 21 could enjoy them. So what I did is separate the pineapple into two half cups so because it only requires one cup of pineapple and then to the half cup to one of the half cups of pineapple I added one and a half tablespoons of white rum. Now this recipe called for that amount um total for all pop schools but i asked my dad and he was like no just put in the one half tablespoon so that's what i did but feel free to half it if you're only doing half with rum or whatever you want so basically what i'm doing is adding the rum into there and then i'm going to let it soak for like five to ten minutes i think it just to um i don't know let the rum absorb the alcohol maybe it tastes better i don't really know because i don't drink alcohol but that's what i was doing here Alrighty, so now in your blender, I'm using a Nutribolt, but you can use whatever blender you have on hand. I'm sure an immersion blender would also work for this, so anything you have would be fine. I think you could also maybe use a whisk if you didn't have a blender, but a blender is really the best option. A food processor could also work here. But what I'm doing is, my can of coconut cream was actually, um, it was 15 ounces, but I was like, you know what? One ounce I don't think would make a huge difference, and I don't really have any other use of coconut cream, so I just poured it all in. And then I'm adding in my sugar. And then you're just going to blend it on high for one minute. Just make sure that everything is completely incorporated. And here you can see I just um, made sure that the can was all, um, all the contents of the can got into the blender. So yeah, closing the lid on my blender, putting it on high, and blending it for one minute. It's kind of hard to see in this clip what the blender actually looks like, so I'm really sorry. I will make sure to get a better shot of it in my future videos. But basically, the coconut cream is kind of a beige color, but when it mixes with um, the sugar and also like kind of the air, the kind of whipping it, it turns more of a white color. So that's just something to note. Alrighty, so now since I was making half the popsicles with the rum and half of them without this made my process a little bit more complicated now if you are making them all rum or all without rum basically at this point you would just pour the pineapple into the blender and pulse it a couple times so that there's just a couple pineapple chunks left then pour it in your popsicle mold and you're done but for me since i had to separate it into two because obviously you know one half is with rum half it isn't I kind of eyeball to see um, pouring out half of the batter, or it's not batter, I don't know why I called it that, half of the mixture into um, one bowl and then keeping the other half in the blender. And then my dad was like, okay, you probably should measure. So I went ahead and measured it in um, a measuring cup, but I actually found that um, what I had poured out was pretty much exact. So you don't have to do it exact, you don't have to be this precise, that's just what I did. Alrighty, so if you're doing what I did, half rum, half not, you want to start out by doing the non-rum half first. Because if you put the rum, pine, rummed, uh, rummed up pine, pineapple with rum, <laughs> it took me a second to figure out how to say that, um, in the blender first, then obviously you'd have to clean the blender and then redo it because you don't want any trace of alcohol in half of them. But again, it's a little hard to see here, but I just pulsed it a couple times. And then open up the top and you'll be able to see that it's now a little bit more yellow in color and there are still some chunks so I decided to go ahead and blend it up. 
And yeah, also side note, this recipe said it made eight popsicles, but for me, it only made six. So yeah, that is, that is something to note. Now, my popsicle mold was maybe a bit bigger than the typical popsicle, maybe, but I mean, it's kind of a regular popsicle size, so I don't know why it only made six. Okay, so now I am taking my blender and carefully pouring them all the way to the top. Now, you can see the chunks are in there and everything. So actually, I filled it to the top and I only got to two and a half-ish of the non-alcoholic um, popsicles. So you'll see me later on, I decided to just make two non-alcoholic -alco popsicles and four popsicles with the rum because I just had extra rum mixture. So yeah, just filling it all up there. And then, um, yeah, I'm just putting the lids on. This popsicle mold is like plastic, so the mold, it um like has a stick in the mold. But any popsicle mold you have is fine. Alrighty, now with the pineapple that was soaked in the rum, I'm adding that and the, um, the other half of the coconut cream mixture to the blender. Now, the recipe said to pour out the extra alcohol that wasn't absorbed by the pineapple, but I found that only some of it was absorbed, and I didn't, I didn't want it to go to waste. Now, in the recipe, she, the author says that, um, they didn't want it to go to waste either, and so they just, like, drank it, I guess, but my dad was like, well, why not just put it in? And so was I. I was like, what's the real point of not including it? I don't, I don't know. So, I went ahead and added it, so, but you can do whatever you like. And here I am just blending it up, just pulsing it, making sure that there's still going to be chunks. And when I was enjoying these popsicles, um, the chunks were like probably the best part. So I'd say, I mean, but it's up to you. If you want to blend them all, you can. But I think it's a nicer treat if the chunks are still there. Alrighty, guys, before we continue with this video, please subscribe, hit that thumbs up, comment down below what you'd like to see next. Um, turn that notification bell on so you get notified when I post a new video and share this video with a friend. I'm going to have lots of great content for the summer and I have lots of old videos too if you haven't seen them yet. And I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe because I have a goal of 100 subscribers. Alrighty guys, let's continue with this video. Alrighty guys, before I continue, I just wanted to mention also that um, this recipe came from minimalistbaker.com. I don't know why I haven't mentioned that, but that is where the recipe came from. I'll link it in the description below if you want to go check it out. Okay, so I'm doing the exact same thing I did with the non alcoholic popsicles. I'm just filling the molds up, and I ended up with about three and a half. Um, enough mixture for three and a half popsicles, so I just rounded and did four because I didn't want to waste that extra mixture. And then I'm just going ahead, sticking the popsicle sticks in, and um, you're gonna see me here in a second put some blue tape on these popsicles. That's because, well, they look the same, so how am I supposed to tell which ones have rum and which ones don't? I put a, uh, a sticker on. I guess you could say sticker, but um, a piece of blue tape. And this is actually a really good tip that I have because that way you can easily identify um, which ones have the alcohol on it. And um, yeah, so that way you don't have to remember, oh, was it the left or the right side that I put? The alcoholic ones on but obviously if you're making them all alcoholic or all non-alcoholic this step is just going to be optional and here is the final product what i ended up doing is i actually waited like almost close to 48 hours and this pop school i'm not gonna lie was extremely hard to get out of the mold it really did not want to get out of the mold and was more kind of like an ice cream or sorbet so i would just say um if you even wanted to not make these pop schools and just throw it in a, um, like a Tupperware and stick it in your freezer, that could also work. I, I really don't know why this happened to me, so that is something interesting, but they were still delicious regardless. Were they the best pina colada I've ever had? Well, pina colada popsicle? No, but they were a solid 8 out of 10, and I definitely recommend trying them out. Super refreshing. Like, I love pineapple and coconut. I don't know if any of you guys do. If you do, let me know in the comments down below if you'd like any more pineapple and coconut um, recipes, but yeah, that's all. So that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please follow me on Instagram at Cooks by Carrie. I post lots of fun photos of the food I cook, behind the scenes, and maybe I'll even hint at some of my upcoming videos. Uh, make sure to tune in Monday for a new video, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!